The name of it is um, Seven Shifts, S-H-I-F-T-S. Um, and it's an app, um, but it kind of speaks to a specific problem that businesses run into. I kind of tend to look at things through that business lens because that's uh, the brunt of my work at Thistlesey. Um, but Seven Shifts in, sp- in uh, particular helps owners or managers schedule their employees. And this sounds kind of boring and horrible, but when you look at the fact that before these kinds of things existed and this technology existed, um, people used literally paper, um, paper and pen. And then the big um, improvement to that was using Excel. And so you have a manager, spends all of this time scheduling employees. Of course, as soon as the document's created, immediately it is obsolete because people want to switch. And you're just, it's a constant battle with this. And it's its not convenient for the person doing it at all. It's not convenient for the people using it at all. And it's, on top of all that, it just takes a long time. It's hard. Um, so some really smart people, I guess, figured out that this is a really big pain point um, for businesses. And I really like Seven Shifts. I have some experience in the restaurant industry. I actually used to own a restaurant um, with my husband. And boy, was this a real big pain point for us. And mm-hmm. so um, they've taken this technology that, that has existed, I'm sure, for a while. And, and in particular, Seven Shifts is catered to restaurants um, where you have people that are working different shifts, splitting shifts, different wages, um, potentially being in different roles on the same day, on different days. And the, the really fantastic part is it's not just about like I can now do what I did on paper in an app. But it's also um, people have the ability to say, I don't feel well or I'd like the day off. I'm giving up my shift. It makes it available to all the other people that are qualified to take it. Um, Someone says, I'll pick it up. A note goes to a manager or supervisor saying, so-and-so wants to switch with this person. They okay it from their phone. Um, And suddenly this, this task that used to involve telephone calls, all this garbage, it's done. It's done in like five seconds. And, um, it's, it's kind of a shock when you're used to doing it this sort of old labor intensive way to you, you really can't believe not just your savings and time, but frankly, it was just an ugly, horrible task. And now suddenly it's, um, it's kind of a breeze and you spend your time actually scheduling people where they should be and when they should be instead of making charts and scratching them off. (laughs) So, um, I love, I love like continuous improvement and, um, this is a big one. These kinds of things are great. This, I, I worked at Kinko's in high school and part of college. And then I worked at Starbucks for a little while after college. This, mm-hmm. that was the biggest ordeal for management was scheduling and shift switches and all of that to the point where managers would sit down for like an entire eight hour shift of their own to try to figure out the schedule for the next week. Right. And then to your point, someone comes in and you know, unfortunately there's been a death in the family or there was whatever reason came up and they need to then recreate the wheel all back over again. Right. And, and, and tools like this, like um, this, this just amazes me because the complexity that takes place to your point with different wages, making sure employees don't go over 40 hours a week um, I could see this also being huge if and I, when I was at Starbucks, there were a lot of times where other stores would call and say, hey, do you have anyone that has extra hours this week they can work? I don't want to have to pay them overtime, but I need someone to fill a four hour shift. Can, can you throw me someone? Um, and so you would ha- you not only have to deal with your own internal store, but then other stores. So th- to me, this is this is brilliant. It definitely fills a need. And I, and I, I can't imagine this was, I, I'm not surprised that I'm surprised this wasn't built sooner, but the complexity around this is just ridiculous and it's much well, harder than one would think. And seven shifts isn't the first, I mean, there's another great one out there called when I work, which is geared to, um, other industries. I think retail would work nicely with when I work schedule fly, which is another restaurant specific one. Um, I think, I think the other thing it does, and you touched upon, you know, part of it is making it easier for the person working in the business. But the other huge thing is that in a, in a way and in a really important way, give some control back to the employees. 
Um, because, you know, if you're sitting there and it's your day off and you're like, oh, you know, I'm kind of bored, I'd pick up a shift if there was one. Suddenly you can. Mm -hmm. If there is one, you can do it. And But it's, it's up to you. And um, I think that, you know, it, it gives people more earning opportunity if they want it. Um, if not, that's fine too. But, um, and I think the other thing that most of these companies have done, um, and seven shifts is no, um, outlier there is that they, they do a really reasonably, um, like a monthly pay as you go, you know, S S S A A S. <laughs> um, but it's, it's not, you know, a huge outpouring for a small business, for a new business, um, for someone who wants to try it. So it's kind of, I know it's not very glamorous and it's not tech for the sake of tech, but um, it's the kind of thing that, like, if you get eight hours of your life back, that's mm-hmm. huge. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, yeah. it's, it's enormous. Looking at this, like, I'm looking at the When I Work one, and it's like, it's like you know, uh, uh, 20 employees is like 29 a month. You know, yeah. that, and then, you know, versus, yeah, yeah, really reasonable for something like that. And, and versus that time that you have been paying somebody X amount per right. hour to do. I mean, that's incredible. Um, I mean, this is <laughs> this is the kind of thing where. Uh, I was listening to the triangulation and they were talking about kind of the future of, yeah, we're, we're going to be using computers to do all these things, all these tasks. And then that just opens us up to do other things, you know? And, yeah. uh, and I, I think this is a perfect example of something like that. I mean, you know, I think there are the other couple of nice little features. They allow people to communicate, um, employees to communicate, um, via a private, um, or I guess a separate network necessarily than like their cell phone. So if they want to have work related discussions that they, want to keep work related they can um you also can broadcast messages to your entire staff so if you want to say hey there's 12 feet of snow we're closed um <laughs> it's done no one has to mm-hmm. drive in the snow mm-hmm. it's not dangerous it's funny that actually happened to me last, what two weekends ago um you know when we got what eight inches here in the city which was nothing compared to some other places but people drove in on a saturday to be there at seven and you know it was really dangerous and